Hello everyone and welcome back. So let's go down and see what's here. So welcome back, I'm Subref and this is... Hello <laughs> New Vegas. Okay, so I'm here. So I don't know for what this is, but if I will ever need a Braxo or Conductress or so, I'm gonna come here. A harmonica, baseball glove, thing, Vault 11 jumpsuit, yeah I'm gonna take this one, just to like a souvenir, empty, nothing, wait, 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 Logical tubing, that sounds very valuable. And what do we have here? Empty. Yep. Oh, nothing. Okay, this even expands. Thing indeed. Blocker. Harvest. Hmm, 202 value. That's not bad at all. Everything empty. You are money. Let's take a look at this one. Toolbox. Nope. Clean cabinet. Yeah. And caps. You run there. Gonna be done a lot. Oh, bobby pin. Yeah. Nothing. Good locker. Oh. See, sometimes there's something valuable inside. This has been checked out. Continue. Over here. Wow, even more. Look at that. Leaf blower. Hmm. Okay. No, nothing. Wait. Full cap. Actually, this alternate it was like a skill that I could, with tin cans and so on, craft ammunition. Electron charge pack. Sounds good. This is where again? Or oh, what not down here? Mail dorm. Oh, okay. And there's the admin is over there. It's gonna be my next area I have to go. But let's first of all Ooh, two why salesman weekly? That's not bad at all. Empty. Also empty. Okay. Empty. Okay, mask. Nope. Nope. Empty, empty. All cap. About it. Other belt. Nope. Nope. Good locker. Ray Gottlieb's terminal password. 
Oh. Oh. Ha ha ha, okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere here. What's this? Ophthalmoscope. No idea what it is, but it has a strange name, so I'm taking it. Empty, empty, huh? That's about it. There is the female dorm. Yep. There are the male ones. With the personal bone saw. Hmm. I'm gonna admin, very nice. Yep, yep, yep. Security recording. Ooh. Fine, this puzzle was found shamefully close to its creator's computer terminal. <laughs> I like that. She can't do this. It's done. We're done. Nothing's done. She's got the authority. The only thing she can't do is change her own fate. Nothing says she can't change the selection process for future overseers. I say she can't. You shouldn't have toyed with her like that, Roy. We still have the majority. We don't vote for anything anymore. I'm not talking about voting. What then? You want to have a sit-in? A hunger strike? Not exactly. Maybe march into her office with torches and pitchforks? Yes. Come on. I mean it. What? Start a revolution? Laws don't outlast their governments. Roy, all we have to do is wait until someone from Justice Block gets picked for Overseer. Then we have them change the law back. There won't be any blocks after the new Overseer is picked tomorrow. Everyone's going to move on. By the time we've reformed, who knows if we'll still be in the majority. We can hold the block together. You don't know that. Besides, what if the computer picks you? What if it picks me? And your solution is to start shooting? Not if we don't have to. Look, we arm up. We go to the lower floors, take some strategic targets. Power, food, water. Just until she turns authority over to us. The other blocks won't support it. They're tired of us having the power. We have the majority. We don't need them. This isn't a vote, Roy. They'll fight back. They've never had the nerve. Hell of a way to test it. Oh, interesting. So they had here, let's say like that, a little bit more than just democracy, huh? So, enlist with the justice block. Play for the winning team. Uh, he was the justice block, as it looks like. Hmm. Interesting indeed. This was the dormitory. And there were like these blocks, these several factions around. Interesting. So let's take a look down there. Actually, I have here a task to do. Now I have to go deeper. Whoa. Let's see. Lower level. is here what happened here I don't know the security there's overseas office ah I see like a little trap uh -huh. anything moves it's gonna get it I'm getting down there is the other question. Huh. Yeah, well I walked right into it. Anything moves, anyway. it's gonna get it. 
Whoa ho ho. Hmm, not bad. Like that. Wish they'd show themselves. I'm gonna lock, please contact the enemies. Right, sure. Oh, ha. Huh. So I will need this. Anything moves. Only the key it's card or something like that. Interesting. And this key card will be somewhere down there. Anything moves, it's gonna get it. Let's go deeper and find this key card. Utility room. Uh, and that's the atrium. Wow. It's even deeper. Ah ha ha ha. I do have a solution for this. I do have a solution for this. That is Ooh, munition box. The other side. Let's see, they were having here something like a war. Well not a war, but Oh well, no. Really? They were like defending themselves. Bing. Thanks for the rounds. Well, so much about uh, term democracy. So much about democracy. Some water. So let's not take a look at that. But let's first of all go reactor. Holy moly, reactor. Okay, reactor. So that does look quite okay. And who knows what happens here. Bobby pin twice, yeah. Then burn book and toolbox, electronics, etc. etc. Serving up some. Uh huh, I was faster. A reactor. That's the first time I saw some. I see something like that. Interesting enough. Thanks. 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 Oh, here's everything underwater. Well, that doesn't look so good. Items. Barrel. Radiation suit. Huh. Well. Come on, I have 30. Plus radiation. Rink. Ah, sure. Goes even deeper. Wahoo. Okay. Safe again. Uh, 
bit more now. This place is huge. Okay, again deeper. Don't see a thing. Where are we again? Reactor atrium. Anything moves, it's gonna get it. Uh, was I here yet? I can't remember. No, I wasn't here yet. Anything moves, it's gonna get it. I have to admit that this vault is quite Lead. big. Ah, oh, yeah, here it was. So, what was it again? It was uh, repair. Let's paint this place. Yeah, red. it was repair. First aid, cabinet. Wow. Wow. -how. Uh, I like it. Look at that. Like these were tons. Tons of food. Incredible. Tons of food. Wow. I can't complain. Yeah, some fresh milk. Sure. What else? Dustbury steak. Um, give me pallet light. Why not? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not gonna take this stuff. And again, a bit more. Hey, perfect. You're here. Let's see what you got. Uh, take please a few things like this stuff. Or five and gecko steak, romantis, one of bits, one on a stick, insta mash, junk food, Coca Cola ten. Well, that's also something. Uh, Steak, torch, girl stew, stick, and a whiskey. Then some misc stuff like type garden. Carrying gnome. too much shit to move. Aw, oh, come on. Carrying too. Okay, she is full. Wow. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Local map. Ah, uh, here I am now. Take the part speech of Gus Olsen, Ombudsman for the annual overseer election. According to the text of a speech that was given or scheduled to be given in the World 11 Atrium on our Sea Election Day, the terminal password is Betty. Report speech. Good afternoon. Each year it is the appointed task of the Ombudsman not only to of officiate the election, but to chronicle its 
it in hopes that after the last overseer has finished his term and walked to his death in the chamber beneath his office, and that the vault has become still, that one day some excavator from humanity or perhaps some yet unknown race of super beings might find our records and incorporate them into historical canon. But lately, it has occurred to me that not really why, I think the real reason we do it is because we want to believe that somewhere in the archives there's an answer to all of this. Or perhaps there will be one when the historical records are completed and the whole story is told. We want it to make sense to understand why the world's mainframe will kill us if we do not offer one of our own as a yearly sacrifice. Whoa, that's getting interesting. To fully comprehend why we continue to these elections, despite the unfettered corruption that has plagued it for what must be decades by now. There was a simple time when elections meant shaking hands and kissing babies, but now with the rise of their vaulting blocks and this infestation of bribery, drug trafficking, smuggling and god knows what else, we want to know why. Well, I've been through the archives. And I can tell you, you won't find the answer there. You will find an account of the first overseer who entered the world as the only citizen aware of the sacrifices that would have to take place. But he didn't have the answers either. If he did, surely he would have foreseen the citizen's anger when he broke the news. Surely he would have guessed that the, they would want to cho choose a sacrifice democratically in the way that we citizens are accustomed to washing our hands of terrible deeds and that his name would be at the top of the polls and that the simultaneous vacancy of overseer and martyr would forever fuse the two positions here in the vault 11. But he didn't. He had the answers no more than any of us. And the records state that after the citizens discovered that the sacrificial Sacrificial Chambers' password was his wife Betty's first name and its door was unsealed so he could be offered as the first sacrifice he walked down into that room crying like a child. Whoa, 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 I want to see that. I can only wonder if there are no answers to be found and we are just going along with this because we don't see another choice. Nevertheless, I still hold on to hope that we can find one I urge you all to take the journey I took. Remember that it wasn't so long ago that we were ruled by our civility and our dignity and that those were times when we didn't have to be quite so ashamed. Thank you. Oh, okay, okay. Like sacrifices and... Ooh. I don't know. And then they were like fighting. They were like, you have seen that, they were like, wars and... I don't know, huh? That's quite interesting. 50 the atrium. Oh, there's the overseas office. Atrium terminal. And when they... Because we wanted to make sense to understand why the Walt Spencer will kill us. Okay, I, I just read this one. Remember that it wasn't so long ago. It was a long speech. It was a long speech. So, Atrium is done. A really big place here, huh? I have to go back to the Overseer's office since there is that what I need. Uh, from where do I come from? No. No. From here, huh? Okay. I have the radiation suit on, so actually it should work, but... No? Hmm. So then, uh, where are you, overseer? Somewhere over here. 
it's a utility room. So I have to go one further up. Not utility. Overseer's office. Here it is. And I would say let's take a look at this one in the next episode. So have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye.